Hi everyone, I'm Steve here again with the Gut Girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. Okay, I know you and I always get mad at, you know, commercials and that are just completely misleading mm -hmm. uh, media that just totally lies. And we're going to talk today about cereal. Um, now, I don't know. I won't name any, but you guys can figure it out. You know, uh, like aren't most, I mean, most cereals, like I know there's one that says it's heart healthy. Now, aren't most cereals heart healthy? Mm, makes me insane. So that's what they claim is that they're heart healthy. They're fortified with vitamins and that they have a, that lowering cholesterol. Um, and they couldn't be further from the truth. Like, and, and I will have a disclaimer here. Cereal, I used to absolutely love cereal when I didn't know any better. And when you're growing up and you're being fed cereal, you know, because it's easy and it's fast and everybody's got to get off to work and all of the things, it, it, it couldn't, it never enters my house ever with kids, with anything, because it is so the opposite of what I just read of heart healthy and lowering cholesterol. It's the polar opposite of that. You know, in here, I, I was, I, I think I did a video on this. Um, maybe I did it with you, but I don't think so. But, you know, the thing that's a big concern is I have no problem with gluten and, you know, I can eat some carbs but, you know, four years ago, five years ago, when I really started to cut the carbs out, my thing about not eating bread was the carbs. And, you know, I don't need the gluten. or uh, So, but now, if I think about the reason why I don't want to eat cereal, you know what I'm going to say? I don't want to eat cereal because of the glyphosate. Mm -hmm. What is put, there's wheat and flour and whatever that they make this processed food out of. Cereal is a processed food. Highly. And it's not, now I'm like going, because I think about all the sugar and all the bad stuff I ate when I was a kid and all my friends did and all my classmates did and none of them were fat. And so why is do these kids get fat and people get fat when they eat the same foods that we ate when we were kids? Well, it's not the same food. No, it's not the same food. It's, it's not the same flour. It's not the same sugar. And I'm like going, you know what? When I go out and if I'm going to have a cheat meal and I'm going to eat some garlic bread, my cheat is really, I'm eating glyphosate, right? Right. And part of the problem here, too, is that a cereal just isn't, you know, doesn't come in from the wheat and, and magically appear in your bowl. What happens is they grind that wheat down from the glyphosate point and they grind it down. They high heat that a couple of times in order to make your shapes and your stars and all of the things that go into that. And then they high heat it again to put the sugars and the molasses and all of the things on it. So you're getting sometimes a triple processed product. And that couldn't, that is horrible for you. They're enriching sugar right into all of that on top of the glyphosate. You could be having upwards of 15 grams of sugar in one serving. And I don't know about you, Steve, but when you were little, did you have a third of a cup of, of cereal that's this big versus the entire bowl heaping with mounds of milk in it? Sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes you'd get like rice, well, the crispy treats. <laughs> And people will then put sugar on top of that. Yep. I used to. Yeah. I mean, you can't have, because 
when I was a kid, like that was plain cereal. Yes. It wasn't the sugar one. So you had to put sugar on yes. the plain cereal. Yeah. But we weren't fat. <laughs> no. And, and it was a different time and, and it was, we weren't mass producing things, drying them with glyphosate, all of the things. It, you guys, cereal is, I had someone come into my office the other day and say, um, you know, I, I did what you said. I changed out everything from gluten because she had a gluten intolerance, but was still eating gluten. I changed everything out for gluten free. And so now I start my day off with a big bowl of cereal, but it's wheat. I said, that's not that what has, I said. Yeah. Yeah, I know that has gluten in it. A lot of hundred percent, it has gluten. In and it. worse, it has glyphosate in it. Yes, yes. And that little smidge of wheat that you thought you had was now burned completely down and made completely awful. So you're not getting any nutritional value in a cereal. You're not. You're having a bowl of sugar first of all on top of a bowl of glyphosate and you are wrecking your insides. Not to mention you're starting your day off with a humongous glucose spike. One that you may not get under control until later in your day. That is not healthy for the body. That's what creates diabetes type two, type three. It creates a whole bunch of other host of digestional problems yep because you're putting poison in your body and when you put poison in your body bad things happen to your body including one of the things probably you're going to get fat yes yes or, or and i don't mean to sound rude and i'm really not trying to start a huge controversy the other thing is you're going to stay fat you're not going to lose weight when you eat a bowl of cereal for your breakfast. I am here to tell you your glucose is through the roof. You're eating a bowl of poison. That is not the way to get healthy. It's just not. It's not the way to get skinny. It's not the way to lose a few pounds. It's, it's just not the way. Yeah. As you all hear us say, you need to eat the right food. So, Nicole... Um, if somebody reaches out to you, uh, you've said that you'll give them a hundred dollar discount. What, what, uh, Nicole does everyone is she reads your blood work. You go through the process of finding out what's wrong with your body. If there's something wrong or getting your gut right so that you can lose weight. So, um, a hundred dollars, if they tell you that they saw this video, yes. right? A hundred dollars yeah. off the program. Okay. And how do they get a hold of you, Nicole? They can reach me at the email of the gut girl one at gmail.com. Okay. And if you guys want to learn more about me and what I do, you can go to stevemain.com. So thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me.